And welcome back. You're listening to Hysteria. I'm Erin. Alyssa's with us. Julissa's with us. And Dana is with us. And we are about to get into Sani Petty. Alyssa, are you going to go Sanity Corner or I Feel Petty this week? It's a combo. Okay. It's a combo Sani Petty. So um, I have needed, now that jam season is on hiatus till the good citrus comes back for marmalade, I have been, I need another thing. And so I've been baking cookies nonstop, cookie, 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 cookie. And the new Bon Appetit just came out with their cookie edition, whatever. And the cover was so beautiful. I'm like, I am going to make those raspberry almond thumbprints. You guys. I realize I should have read more closely before I embarked on what was a fucking cookie journey, but the cookie, as you mix, it it involved uh, freeze-dried raspberry powder, which I found. What? Yes, and you make the cookies, but when the cookie interacts with this when the when the raspberry interacts with the citrus and the baking powder, it turns gray. So what it turned out, one, it looked fucking gross. When you bite into the cookies, it looks like they've molded. And the the whole outside that was like the beautiful pink was so overly sweet, it's literally just meant to disguise the fact that the cookie is gray. So I was very disheartened by the fact that this was like a cover recipe. I feel like there were so many others that were better. I mean, it was very pretty, but it was so much work and I was like very – I was just covered. I was like a pink Smurf by the time it was over. There was just (laughs) freeze-dried raspberry powder everywhere. And I couldn't even really give the cookies. I had one batch that I was like, oh, these are okay. And I used a lot less sugar on them. And they were gray-green. And they were better. (laughs) But other than that, I was like, these are not for consumption. These were a disappointment. And I can't believe I was sold a bill of goods on the cover of Bon Appetit. You were not only sold a bill of goods. You were sent on a quest. I when mean, you have like those a, cookies took me like three hours to make. Hold on, here they are. Were here those the are. Claire Saffitz cookies? That's yeah, how they look in the. Disappointing. They look uh, really pretty. They look really pretty, but they they uh, they were not a they were not a win for me. Not a win. Mm. Not a win. And you can kind of see here, I'm sure sh- how they are like. Oh, sorry, gray green on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was it. So this, I can tell you, in the fridge right now, I have the, uh, I have maple, I have some maple shortbreads. So we'll see how those turned out. And yes, they required me finding maple sugar. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, you are continuing to go on these cookie quests. Um, I, I gotta respect it. I hope you find what you're looking for, Alyssa. Me too. I, I <laughs> so right find- now, right now, we're really we're honing back in on the the OG uh, jam thumbprints because they are delicious and quite easy to make. Totally, totally. Um, all right, Dana, sanity I, or petty? It's a sanity corner that I feel like dovetails really nicely with Alyssa's. I have been obsessively baking cookies. That what? has been my, aside from actual real therapy, my other therapy of choice. I made um, some black sesame espresso shortbread cookies. The roll one. Those were gorgeous. Very beautiful And savory, they tasted really well. They've tasted really nice. I have some ovenly peanut butter cookies in my freezer right now. I made some gingerbread uh, biscotti that were a little salty for my taste, but I liked them. Everyone in the comments seemed to like that it was, you know, sort of a little salty kick. I've just been, I, my freezer is full of cookie dough. And I, that has been the thing that I have been uh, making myself sane with. So if any listeners have really great Christmas cookie recipes, please send them my way. Absolutely. Amazing. Oh, you know they're going to. Oh, I really send, hope they send, do. Send, send, <laughs> send, please. That Dana Schwartz at gmail.com. <laughs> please send them to me. Oh my gosh, you're going to get some recipes. I can't um, wait. Okay, mine is mine is an I feel petty, uh, but it's also kind of a PSA. Um, so, you know, holiday season, busy stores, busy parking lots. If you are looking for a parking space and the only way for you to fit into the parking space is to get ju- like so close to the car to your left that you can barely open the door and get out, do not park there. Because, okay, if someone has a if someone has a baby seat, like there's a whole bunch of reasons, but if somebody has a baby seat, it's usually on the like rear passenger side door. And if you park too close 
to a person's door so they can't get their baby in, you're really like fucking up their day. You're like, you're really causing them. And I think a lot of, I didn't realize this until I was like dealing with the logistics of like loading Juniper in and out of the car. Um, There are a lot of parking lots that have like spots that are too small. Um, And there have been a couple times where it's like, I have to like pick her up and like crawl across the other side of my back seat with her. And it's just, it's not great. So be mindful of how close to other cars you're parking. A baby is not the only reason to be mindful of that. You know, there are other people with different mobility issues um, that would require more space. Give people space to get out of their car. That's all I'm saying. Um, And uh, if you have a big giant truck that just cannot fit in any parking spaces without crowding the car next to you, then I think you can fuck off just in general. (laughs) Uh, And that's what I'm feeling petty about this week. Uh, Julissa, sanity or petty for you? So like Alyssa, mine is like a combo. Because this thing is both giving me so much joy and also has been the source of so much frustration. And that is the World Cup. Mm. The World Cup, it's something I absolutely love and I look forward to. And this time I had to wait an extra six months because it's in Qatar and they couldn't hold it in the summer. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mexico's out of the World Cup for the first time in like 70 something years. We didn't make it out of the group stage like been very disappointing um but it's still you know I've still been watching the games and it's very entertaining and I really love like I just really love it like I love the world cup it's 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 an amazing time um and you know people also take it way too seriously and they suck the joy out of it like way too fucking serious like can we just make funny tiktoks and funny instagram reels and It's just funny. Like, I'm not trying to make a political statement. I'm trying to enjoy the game and have a good time while I watch it. Like, just let me have this little time in life where I can just say stupid shit about (laughs) a game and not make it about something bigger and something else. Please, because let me enjoy this time. I had to wait and my team's not even in it anymore. So... Just let me be. Thank you. Uh, Julissa, if you ever want to text me something that you're like, they'll get mad about this on TikTok. I, my inbox is always open. Always open to funny, snarky World Cup takes that assholes online would take the wrong way. So I'm like, God dang, like people, <laughs> you are missing a little funny chip in your system. Can I uh, ask, who are you rooting? Are you rooting for anyone now, now that Mexico's out? I'm pretty much just rooting for like all the teams that are not white, like non-white teams, you know, whoever that like, (laughs) if you colonized, if you were a colonizer at one point (laughs) in your history, I am rooting for the other team. Oh, man. Right now I'm excited about Morocco because they just beat Spain. Like, and people are very upset that I'm rooting for Morocco and not for Spain. Um, or that I rooted for them. Um, yeah, so it's just exciting to watch it. I think at this point, because my team's not in it, it actually is a little bit more fun, you know, because I'm not stressed. I'm just like, I just want to watch a good game. Um, Argentina's still in it, right? <sighs> they are. <laughs> so all Latin American countries, but not Argentina. Um, mm, yeah, I guess they yeah. kind of... Yeah, they kind of... I, I mean, Messi this is fun. thing where, like, there was a ton of Argentinians saying that, like, they felt more European than they did Latin American. Uh, so, hmm. what Europeans, Argentina? What Europeans came to Argentina? Which which ones were they? Which, when yeah, did that exactly. happen? Which Europeans did you harbor? Are you you're proud of those Europeans who came to in about 1944 to 46? <laughs> Interesting. Who were who was that? Who came? Um. Yeah. I uh, I gotta say I I'm. Pretty much on, I thought the Morocco game was exciting. Um, I thought it was exciting that Spain lost because they just, I mean, they didn't just win. I think they won in 2012, right? 2013? Something something around there. But, you know, then again, out of all the European teams, I guess I like England the best out of all the European mm. teams. I mean, you know, France, I saw this yesterday on The Daily Show the day before. It was kind of funny where they were like, 
basically showing all these pictures of like white teams and then they were like and then this is like the black team and it was like the French team because there's so many <laughs> like black players on the French team so I I could root for France um you know if it gets to if it gets to that point um I I love that you're like I'm rooting against the white people that's <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. So and just to be clear, like not all the white people, just like when we're talking about the world fucking cup. Right. No, I mean, I understand. I understand the subtle differences. <laughs> also, it's like a funny way to choose which team to cheer for. Like, exactly. why not? It's why just, not? Uh, you know, um, it's just the world cup. It's just the world cup. Just uh, the biggest sporting event in the world. 